welcome back to Joseph's Tropical Tanks. This video is sponsored by New Aqua Systems, an amazing RODY company and manufacturer. Without further ado, let's get inside of the video. It's been a minute, all of my friends, but we are back and we have an amazing new video. Today we are unboxing a RODI unit from our great new friends and sponsored newaquasystems.com guys they send us this unit 100 percent free of charge for us to put it to the test and to see how the rodi units will actually help us in the future and from now on in the aquarium hobby as you guys know when i first began we began with a fresh water uh, tank we were running the cichlids tanks and we also were breeding cichlids and now we are in the saltwater hobby uh, but throughout both systems salt and fresh we never used any rodi uh, water uh, we always used tap water and we always had the problem of diatone and algaes uh, but our friends here hooked us up they gave us an amazing uh, new RODI system and as you guys could see we have it completely out of the box it comes with some adapters for your guys' sinks it also comes with the uh, ranch some hoses and the unit and the cartridges um, when I did get the unit guys the, the unit was pretty much all put together the only thing we had to do was connect the hoses and connect uh, just one of the main brains for the RODI unit, well, I believe it was stage four. In a little bit, you guys could actually see how I unwrap uh, that and prepare it to get it connected to the system. But I do want to thank our friends. They also did send us a um, a float valve for a uh, five gallon bucket, like we used it in this video, or to have it on a larger. Uh, 55 gallon which we are going to be getting um, to store our freshly made RODI water and also our salt. I do want to thank our friends one more time for sending us this great amazing unit. As you guys can see this would be the stage four uh, of the RODI unit. Um, I believe uh, this would be the last stage before uh, we get our our O water coming out of uh, the blue hoses. Uh, but we have that open. We are about to get everything back in their canisters and we are going to get it installed like we did here. In the next step, guys, I will be showing you guys how we actually install the system. Now, I had no clue what was I doing, but their guy that they send us the um, instruction labels do help so much because they made it so easy and self-explanatory just by reading it for about five to ten minutes i did have it higher up guys above the sink but um, we did have some problems with the hoses so i did move it lower uh to a lower level where we were easy it was easier for us to get the hoses installed properly near the sink here guys, I am using their attachments that they send us. I'm just removing uh, one of the old attachments and I'm going to be placing a brand new attachment uh, to get our shut off, off and on valve and also um, uh, connect the wire to it. But as you can see, we have some good running water there. Here I am adding the attachment and then in the next few minutes, we will be adding our first white hose. So I must say, installation super easy. So first things first, we are going to hook up the white line. We'll get it first end in here. Make sure that it is nice and snug. After we install all of the hoses, guys, now we are about to run okay, the guys. system. I had a small problem not understanding what was going on. I read the owner's manual a couple of times and I missed that you have to take these out. 
these have to come out. I thought that you just plug the hose into this. No, you have to pull them out and then hook them up to each spot. So after a lot of trial and error, let's give it a try. You got the first chamber filling up. Here we have the second chamber all filled up and now we are waiting on the fourth one which I believe the fourth one is where you would have to have the system run at least for about an hour or two uh, to get the system completely uh, primed and ready for you to start using your RO water. As you can see, we have uh, our uh, wastewater. Okay guys, we have the RODI unit running. As you guys can see, stage four is still filling up uh, we are going to let it um, run for about an hour or so. I did have it uh, on a wall there, but I did move it here um, for the reason the wires were just crazy. And this way I am able to have uh, the drain wire there. This is our old water here. Um, but as you guys could see, it's a little bit murky probably going to take probably about an hour or two to get it running properly uh, but that's what I'm doing right now I have both faucets running as you guys can see there and it is moving a little bit slower in stage four uh, where the DI raises but um, we have it installed uh, next step is to uh, get our um, our old water bucket uh, worked out so we could add the float valve. So let's go ahead and do that. Guys, we have our, well, this is gonna be a temporary use because I'm going to buy a 50 gallon bin, but we're gonna use this for now. Uh, we have our Instant Ocean five gallon bucket. We have our float valve right there. And we have our drill. We have our hole uh, here. We're going to add this rubber washer there. And we are going to tighten it from here. Make it nice and snug. Um, Uh, thank you guys. Thank you. Come on, Heidi. Oh, Twinkie does want to. Amira. So, I believe we get this here. So, we can move that cat. Get that like that and uh, in there. So, we have our float valve installed in the bucket. And, guys, it took me about five minutes. If my drill bit was just a little bit bigger, it would be a lot quicker. Okay guys, this is the 125 gallon um, fish tank. Um, and one of the reasons why I really wanted to test out a RODI unit is because I cannot get the tank to come out of the ugly stage because I use conditioned, um, just regular conditioned tap water. But since we have our new RODI that our new friends, new aqua send us, um, we are going to be getting RODI completely in this tank. Okay guys, and we have our RODI running. We are going to fill this up. We got our float valve. And we are going to dump three buckets of this in our 125. 
And as you guys could see, we have our 15 gallons of RO water inside of our tank again. We do want to thank our great friends and sponsors, newaquasystems.com. Thank you guys for doing that great job on sending us this wonderful RODI unit. Five stars, guys. Amazing product. And I'm very, very happy to do some more unboxing and more sponsorships from your amazing company for those that are watching please make sure you go to the description for all of the information about the system and also our officiated page for new aqua systems you do have the exact link that you need to go and purchase one of these systems i highly recommend it if you don't have an ro system this is the one to go with Thank you very much and we'll see you next time on Joseph's Tropical Tanks.